Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a rosy smoky eye using the Violet Voss Essentials palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is so so good and like the perfect essential palette. So first I'm going in with the shade Sand and I am just popping this in the crease with my Morphe M441 brush. Sand is a really really pretty transition shade. Honestly the best. Next I'm going in with Sand and Dusty Rose and I'm just popping these two in the crease. I'm sorry that the, sh the uh, clips where I'm showing the palette the words are blurry. I think it's because they're like metallic and the way the light was hitting it made it blurry so I apologize. And then I'm going in with the shade Cinnamon just to deepen up the outer V and the crease a little bit so I'm just putting that on the outer V and really focusing it in the crease. This shade is just perfect for deepening the crease up. I went with a rosy look here because my sister's confirmation was on the day that I filmed this and her confirmation name is Rose and I'm cheesy like that. <laughs> so next I'm just blending the crease together, just, you know, making sure it all looks nice and like uniform. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the shade Pink. I know, who am I? You guys know I don't love pink, but I love this one. And I'm just applying this to my eyelid using my finger. The shimmer shades in this palette work best with your finger, like many do. Next, I'm going in with the shade Cream, kind of to just diffuse the pink a little bit and make it like a little more rosy toned. I really love how that looked. Next, I'm going in with the shade Cinnamon again, and I'm just putting this on the outer V and in the crease a little bit more because it kind of got a little lost when I applied the shade Pink. Next, I'm going in with Black, and I'm just lightly putting this on the lash line just to give it some depth. Um, I also kind of just had like mascara there from the day before that wouldn't wash off so that's also kind of why I wanted to do that but I just love doing this. So next I'm applying my highlight and I forgot to show it but it's the Dirty Little Secrets Baked Highlight in the shade Bellissima. I'm just applying that to the brow bone and inner corner. And then next up we have lips so I'm using the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Vogue and I'm just lining my lips with this and I can't find the lip gloss <laughs> it fell but I'm just lining my lips with this and once I line them which I took a pretty nice long time lining my lips because I never really line my lips ever um once I finish lining them and I kind of overline my bottom lip I don't really know why I do that all the time I just do I kind of like how it looks I kind of like bring it below my lip. It's weird. I'm just filling everything in. And I love this lip liner because it's really creamy and easy to use. And the color is just gorgeous. Um, but once it's all done, I pat it out. Just to like kind of diffuse the color and make it look really soft and pretty. And then for lip gloss, I'm using the Iconic London Lip Gloss. The Lip Pumping lip plumping gloss in the shade love shark i use this in my wet and wild tutorial i love this this lip combo is going to be a go-to for me because it is just so so good so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe follow me on all my social media leave some comments down below and i'll see you guys next week